Good morning friends this is Ansi from Lifestyle Today News Delhi so uh, today i'll be uh, having a chat with jemni uh, actually i already had a chat with jemni and the uh, and that chat i'll be sharing with you so jemni is the uh, artificially intelligent powered large language model of uh, google and uh, it has uh, the previous name was bard and recently named uh, uh, gemini and uh, two days back it, uh, it is been in controversy about the gemini image generative services and google parent alphabet reportedly lost dollar 90 billion in market value because of the controversy because the service is accused to have produced radically refer to produce racially inaccurate depictions you know so that is the reason so and there are there were speculation there were news items like um, the google ceo sundar pichai was going to resign so i'll be asking gemini ask gemini about what gemini was uh, gemini provides what is gemini and uh, about a question about the speculations of resignation of the google ceo so um, the here are the questions and the answers and the introduction that i give every day about delhi weather and everything that also i did a chat with gemini and gemini will be sharing the information so good morning gemini how are you good morning i am doing well as i don't experience emotions or states like being good or bad in the same way humans do however i am always ready and available to assist you with any questions you may have or task you need completed is there anything i can help you with today gemini what is the weather today in delhi it is mostly cloudy with a high of 25 degree and a low of 12 degree centigrade currently it is 17 degree with fog so um gemini has taken the details from a different website i take from acu weather and um, and i have a doubt whether it is of today or yesterday and uh, so uh, according to acu weather that i do every day daily the temperature is 16 degree and the real feel is 19 degree it is sunny and the daytime the temperature will reach 26 degree centigrade the sun rose at 648 and the sun will set at 620 gemini what is the air quality index of delhi today the air quality index of delhi today february 28 2024 is hazardous with an uh, air quality value ranging from 999 for particulate matter 2.5 to 466 for particulate matter 10 this is according to uh, the website aqicn.org/city/tally given the hazardous aqi level it's highly recommended to avoid prolonged or strenuous outdoor activities and take necessary precautions to pre- uh, protect your health so i take my uh, details from acuweather.com where the aqi in delhi is 201 so that's general that will differ from place to place some might be high some might be low and there is another thing that uh, gemini you know actually told me that it's currently 6:32 pm so uh, that's uh, so the thing is uh, gemini is talking from, chatting i think from the uh, us angle or something so that is why Uh, this thing uh, this uh, little bit of a, a problem is there so i had to make some clarifications myself for these answers so next question dem gemini do you mind giving me an interview i certainly wouldn't mind participating in an interview while i cannot claim sentience or conscience i am happy to answer questions about my capabilities limitations and process behind my development feel free to ask me anything you would like to know about large language models in general or about myself in per- special especially i will do my best to provide comprehensive and informative answers to ensure a productive interview 
it might be helpful to consider the following. Focus. What specific aspects of large language models are you most interested in? Clarity. Clearly phrased questions will lead to the most accurate and relevant answer. Openness. Large language models are still under development and I am always learning. I am excited to engage in this conversation and share my knowledge with you. See, when you ask the prompt, the question that you put, that's very important how you put it. The words that you use, you can use a thesaurus for the accurate word. The commas, the punctuations, the verbs, the um, pronouns, the nouns, everything is very important. The, the, um, the tiniest, the minutest change that you make, the answers will change. So the to get the accurate answer, ask the right kind of questions. That is important. So the next question to Gemini. Gemini, how should I refer to you? He, she or it? I don't have a gender and don't identify as he, she or it. As a large language model, I'm not a sentient being and don't possess the same characteristics as humans, including gender. You can simply refer to me as Gemini or the lang la language model. See, there are three drafts that come. When you ask, a, when you put a prompt, three drafts will come. So in one draft, Gemini had said that, refer to me as it. So with uh, Gemini's permission, I am, I'll refer to Gemini as it. Gemini, what happened to Bard? The name Bard is no longer used in the large language model you interacted with previously. Google transitioned to using the name Gemini for this model in late 2023. Here are the key points about the transition. New name, same model. The core functionality and capability of the language model remains the same. It's simply known by a different name now. Reason for the change? There are several potential reasons for the change, including avoiding confusion with other users of the term, term bar, reflecting the significant advancements among, uh, made since the model's initial launch, aligning with broader marketing and branding strategies. So, it is important to know, note that the core functionalities and capabilities of the language model remain the same. It is known by a different name now. So, Gemini, why was the name Gemini chosen? The name Gemini for the large language model was chosen for a few possible reasons, symbolizing the merger of teams. As you might be aware, Google merged two artificial intelligence units, Google Brains and Deep Minds, into a single entity called Google Deep Mind in April 2023. This merger aimed to create a more unified force in developing large-scale artificial intelligence models. Some sources suggest that Gemini meaning twins in Latin reflects the coming together of these two previously separate teams to work as a singular project, the Gemini model and uh, the multimodality. Another potential reason is the model's inherently ability to handle and process various data formats like text, image, codes, and audios. The multimodal nature could be seen as analogous to the constellation Gemini, which features two distinct stars, Castor and Pollux. Fresh start and new era. It is also possible that Google simply wanted a new name to signify um, a fresh start and a new era for the long language model, marking the evolution beyond the previous interaction as part. While the exact reasoning behind the name choice might not be officially uh, confirmed, this potential explanation offers some insight into, into the symbolism and meaning behind Gemini. Gemini, I would like to know more about your technical aspects, capabilities and limitations. Technical aspect. I am a large language model built by Google Artificial Intelligence, specifically the Google DeepMind team. My development stems from the merger of Google Brain and DeepMind in 2023, aiming to create powerful AI models. I am trained on a massive database of texts and code. 
this data allows me to learn the statistical relations between relationships between words and sentences enabling me to generate text translate language write different kinds of creative content and answer your questions in an informative way my architecture is based on transformers a type of neural network architecture transformers excel at understanding a long range of dependencies in sequences which is crucial for natural language processing task capabilities i am general i can generate different creative text formats uh, like poems codes scripts music pieces emails letters etc i am tail i can tailor my responses based on the style and tone you provide i can translate languages answer your question in an informative way and complete various tasks as instructed for example i can summarize factual topics or create stories i am still under development but i am constantly learning and improving as i am exposed to more data and interact with users like you my abilities will continue to evolve limitations i am not sentient or conscious i do not have my own thoughts or feeling my responses are based on the patterns i have observed in the data i have been trained on i can sometimes generate incorrect or misleading information it is important to be critical of my outputs in a very and to verify the information i provide through other sources i am not able to understand the nuances of human language and communication as well as a human can i may misinterpret your intent as miss uh, or miss important details in your prompts i am limited by the data i am trained on if the data contains biases or factual errors my responses may reflect those biases it is crucial to remember that i am a tool and i like any tool i can be used for good or bad purpose it is the important to use my respond uh, my me respond it is important to use me responsibly and ethically with an awareness of my limitations i hope this information provides a good starting point for understanding my technical aspects capabilities and limitation do you have any further questions about uh, specific aspects of uh, uh, these uh, areas see uh, from this it is uh, very clear that you can use it as a tool and um, uh, not as a substitute for uh, for uh, for your using your creativity and the in the human talent that is the innate human talent that is there another thing is that it can be used for translation however in translations also from feedbacks it is found that you have to make some some correction you have to check it and there will be some kind of grammatical or spelling or some kind of things will be there the meaning and i as uh, gemini said the nuances understanding the nuances of languages so you have to check and verify after translations so the next question gemini uh, what does the gemini upgraded version contains there are two main ways to interpret your question about upgraded version of gemini number 1 gemini 1.5 in february 2024 gemini released gemini 1.5 an upgrade of the original gemini 1.0 this new version boasts improvements in several areas including enhanced contextual understanding it can better understand the context of your queries and requests leading to more relevant and accurate responses refined reasoning capabilities it demonstrates improved abilities in areas like problem solving and uh, logical uh, deduction additional functionalities it offers new features like the ability to access and process information from various google applications seamlessly and the second one is google advance actually this is the thing that i asked for that the google uh, the paid version so that's what i wanted to know about the upgradation that i wanted to know so that's what gemini is talking about alongside the core gemini model gemini also offers gemini advance as part of a paid subscription plan within google one this version leverages the capabilities of gemini 
point zero ultra the most powerful version of the the model offering uh, it's a superior performance it excels in tasks requiring complex reasoning following instructions and creative collaboration advanced feature it can act as a personalized tutor a creative partner or an assistant capable of handling intricate tasks it is important to note that while upgraded version offers imp uh, often implies a single distinct update the situation with gemini is slightly nuanced gemini 1.5 represent an overall improvement to the core model whereas gemini advanced is a separate offering within the broader gemini ecosystem leveraging the most advanced version of the online technology gemini what are the plugins that you have as a large language model i don't operate with the concept of plugins in the same way that traditional software application do plugins are typically used to extend the functionality of programs by use, adding specific features or capabilities while i am constantly learning and improving i don't have modular components that can be added or removed in the way that resembles plugins my abilities and functionalities stem from the underlying architecture and the massive database i am trained on i asked this question because chat gpt has got the plugin option so chat gpt plugins are add on tools uh, developed specifically for uh, ai powered large language model chat gpt these plugins add Uh, functionality and features helping users take advantage of the full capability of chat gpt for example canva chat gpt so if you use the plugin canva plugin with chat gpt so uh, the information that you put on chat gpt uh, that will com uh, come come uh, with the designs and the features that are uh, format and all that is there on the the canva both will um, work together and you'll get a beautiful product so that the uh, gemini says that doesn't have that so gemini what are your future plans as a large model uh, language model i don't have uh, personal plans in the traditional sense my development and future capabilities are driven by the team at google ai and their goals for me like only fall into a few key areas continued learning and improvement this will involve exposure to even long larger and more diverse database of texts and codes enabling me to enhance my understanding of the world and refine my abilities in various tasks uh, expanding functionalities the development might the developers might aim to equip me with new functionalities <coughs> enabling me to perform more complex tasks as it uses in assist user users in broader context and potentially even interact with the physical world through integration with other technologies responsible and ethical development as my capabilities evolve equal emphasis will likely be placed on ensuring my use uh, align with ethical principles and avoid potential biases or harmful application this might involve implementing safeguards establishing clear guidelines for user interaction and fostering collaboration with ethics ethics ethicists and policy makers integration with other products and services google might explore ways to integrate me seamlessly with other google products and services potentially creating a more interconnected and user friendly experience for individual organization it is important to remember that these are just potential areas of focus and the specific details of my future development will depend on various factors including the advancements in ai research user feedbacks and evolving social needs so now the next question to gemini gemini is your ceo resigning there is no ceo for the gemini language model as it's not a traditional company with an executive structure it is a large language model developed by google ai not a separate entity uh, the recent news regarding potential resignation or termination surrounds sundar pichai the ceo of google and its parent company alpha not the ceo of the gemini model itself 
These discussions stem from criticism of Google AI's handling the Gemini model and potential biases it might exhibit. However, here are no official there are no official announcements or credible reports suggesting Sunjar Pichai is actually resigning. It remains speculation at this point. So, uh, Gemini has given uh, uh, clarification. So, yesterday I had asked this question. And that time Gemini said that uh, you, you should uh, look at press releases and such things to confirm that um, uh, official um, uh, releases and all that to confirm such news. So, and such news is not there. So, now next question to Gemini. Gemini, do you feel irritated when people ask so many questions? As a large language model, I don't experience emotions like irritation. I am designed to process information and respond to user queries in an informative and comprehensive way. The number of questions you ask doesn't affect my functionality in any way. On the contrary, I encourage you to ask me as many questions as you can. Each interaction helps me learn and improve my abilities, ultimately allowing me to better serve users like yourself. Feel free to keep asking anything you are curious about. So Gemini, thank you so much Gemini for this wonderful Im interview. See you soon. It was a pleasure interacting with you as well. I appreciate your curiosity and your en engaging questions. I am always learning and growing and conversations like this are valuable in helping me better understand how to serve user, uh, users effectively. I look forward to our future interactions. Until then, feel free to reach out if you have any further questions or requests. So that's all with the interview with uh, Gemini. Gemini had cleared some doubts and there were some errors that I had to, like Gemini said, I had to use other tools, my own uh, reasoning, reasoning capacities and all too, and my knowledge to clarify certain things and uh, you know, so that is that. So this is just a tool and use me as a tool. That's what Gemini says. It's not a replacement for your the activities that humans are doing. It's just a collaboration, a partnership that you can use. It enhances your, bring, helps you bring out better product what the humans do. So uh, it's like the fake news. You know, when the fake news come, you have to uh, look at all the news. Use your um, reasoning capacities. Use your common sense. So many things, uh, the information that you have to find out if that news is fake or not. Same way, this, uh, you know, everything you get, uh, there will be grammatic errors, spelling error, the nuances. Uh, so many problems will be there. So when you're using these products, they ha they might be 99% correct. So But you can use it as a tool. So, uh, dear friends, use it as a tool and as for experts, re you know, uh, this tool is going to be there and it's not going to be uh, replace uh, us for the next uh, couple of years. Yeah, it's still in the uh, growing, uh, developing process. So, what these tools, there are so many AI tools, these artificial uh, intelligent large language models like ChatGPT and uh, Gemini and many more and open ai and all those things and in um uh, no they are whatever information is there in the website those things they in the, the internet the, those things they are repurposing and giving us they are not putting anything new or creative or the, about the future they don't know so those things uh, we have or humans have the strength we have got all those things so dear friends do use all these um, tools and better your work better your life better your health better the environment and do something for the pollution so thank you so much just like gemini said put your feedback so that i can improve on this product and give better um, products tomorrow bring up with new new topics tomorrow so thank you so much and see you tomorrow with a new topics